Cafe beats up start SAIC to build Marine Amphibious Combat Vehicle. The Marine Corps has chosen longtime tank maker Bay over upstart SAIC to build its new amphibious combat vehicle. A wheel troop carrier capable of swimming from Navy ships to shore and then driving deep inland, the ACV will replace the aging, ungainly, and under-armored AAV as the spearhead of amphibious assaults. The ability to conduct such landings is the modern Marine Corps raison d'etre, but it's come into question, even by the Senate. In this era of long-range missiles, the initial contract announced today was just $198 million for the first 30 vehicles, to be delivered by next fall. 30 more will come the next year. With initial operational testing and evaluation IoT and, e, and a decision to go to full-rate production expected in 2020. Overall, Marine officials told reporters they want to replace approximately 870 existing AAVs with ACVs as rapidly as we can, which will take into the mid to late 20s. The current budget plan values the first 204 vehicles at an $1.12 billion. Winter Bay Systems is an international giant, the eighth largest defense contractor the U.S. and third largest in the world. Among many other things, it builds and upgrades the M2 Bradley troop carrier and M109 Paladin Howitzer, both heavy-tracked vehicles, at its York, Pennsylvania factory. Bay or its predecessor companies have built every Marine amphibious armored vehicle since the Amtraks of World War II. SAIC, by contrast, started out as a consulting and services company. Noted for its engineering expertise, it branched out during the Iraq War to work on MRAPS, essentially a parmered trucks. Its Charleston SC facility installs high-grade military gear like electronics on other companies' vehicles and upgrades the Marines' existing AAVs. So the wheel ACV was SAIC's first foray into both full-size armored fighting vehicles and into manufacturing, making it the riskier option for the Marine Corps. SAIC, in a statement, said while it was disappointed, we are committed to growing this line of business, but failure here is a bad sign for SAIC's other armored vehicle bid. To build the U.S. Army's tracked mobile protected firepower, MPF light tank, Despite their differences, both companies offered basically similar 8x8 vehicles. Both started with foreign designs. Since the U.S. is a world leader in tracked armored vehicles but not in wheeled ones, Bay collaborated with Italy's Iveco, subsidiary of world-famous Fiat, to offer a variant of the Superov, Freccia, Centoro family in Italian service since 1991. SAIC partnered with Singapore Street Kinetics to offer an upgrade of the Singaporean Army's Terex. For comparison, the main 8x8 armored fighting vehicles already in U.S. service, neither of them amphibious, are the Marine Lavin Army Striker, both descendants of the Swiss MOWAG Piranha. The most obvious difference the Bay vehicle can carry two more infantrymen. While both vehicles had a crew of three up front, driver, gunner, and commander, Bay could carry 13 fully equipped foot soldiers in the back, while SAIC could only carry 11. Since the current Marine Rifle Squad is 13 men, and the future squad will shrink to 12, including a drone operator, that may have been a crippling disadvantage for SAIC. Source, update.ph Thank you for watching and hearing the latest military news. Keep up to date with the latest military news on the Update Defense channel. Hope you enjoy it.